in here i have a few valuation concepts i want to share with you guys so this is a little spreadsheet i came up with i saw in the chat uni 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 def here says uh, hex is just in a bear it doesn't take much to go back to the all-time high and then leave for a new all-time high and he's sort of right about that so hex is in a bear right now and it does not take much to get to to get back to the old all-time high and to get past it um does not take that much money either so what i have built is uh this is the current ecosystem this is the current market cap of all the richard hart coins currently we're sitting around two billion i pulled these stats off of gold pulse so i just pulled off the prices it might be a little bit lower now because i think these prices are a bit bit lower are these prices here are a bit higher than what is currently on the market now but it's the same idea now future market capitalizations now how richard hart sort of talks about market caps of vanity metric it it is for the most part obviously like uh, if you have a extremely high market cap it's it makes it like unbelievable like if you have a 20 trillion dollar market cap it doesn't really make sense but one trillion in this case could make a little bit of sense i'm not saying it has to go to a trillion but for the amount of money it would take to pump it there it is not that much and i'm talking about rap pulse in this in this case so what i built is an automated market maker this is a v2 market maker and what i can essentially do is just plug and play whatever ratio so i can take uh like us the usdc pair for rap pulse or i think i took the die pair for this example so what i've done is i took this number here this 205 i plugged it in over here took this uh 8.7 million plugged it in over here this gives you your automated market maker ratio and then your current price of pulse now what i can do is i can go ahead and i can plug in like a buy amount and then it'll uh, basically calculate a percent increase so let's say uh for example we get 210 million dollars of net buy pressure plugged into the rap pulse pair for die this would put a new price of if all that money was just thrown in that one pool of 2.6 cents which is about 662 i think that's either 622x i believe so and this in the grand scheme of things is not that much money 210 million dollars in the grand scheme of financial markets is it's not that much money again um it, do, it doesn't even need this much like again if you even put like 100 million we can still get pretty much insane prices on pulse right this is just barely sub one cent and uh that's still 182x from where we're at right now and that's barely off of any net buy pressure now if we want to look at ethereum for example here is DeFi lama so i'm kind of looking at this ecosystem so a lot of people are hoping for a 10,000 x or however many x is a thousand x i mean it's hopeful i we can hope but i'm not exactly like i'm not a uh, banking on it 100 percent i'm sort of looking at this like ethereum in 2019 so this is DeFi lama we can see here kind of in the beginning of 2019 ethereum had around if we pull it up 250 million us dollars total value locked on the chain and uh, if we look at the chart this it's right around in this section so this bottom section where it created its little bottom here in 2019 this is uh, exactly pretty much where pulse x and pulse chain is right now so if we look at pulse total value locked i can pull it up here currently we're sitting at 139 million dollars total value locked so half as much as ethereum had or just about half as much as ethereum had back in 2019 and if we look ethereum it went all the way up to 21 billion dollars of value locked uh i guess all the way up here into all-time highs and you can see here on the chart this little box represents where the total value locked was at the greatest amount and that was obviously at the top of the chart now currently ethereum is at 21 billion is that right uh actually at the top sorry it was 100 billion currently we're down to 21 billion so what i did is one percent of that is 210 million and that's the number we got here uh so if we take basically one percent of the total total value locked on ethereum and if we were able to get that like net buys onto the market maker in pulse x you could see insane price increases on pulse now the reason why i'm sort of denominating this in pulse for the most part is because most of the liquidity is denominated in pulse and we know like hart's law if one asset goes up assets that are denominated with each other will likely move up with it 
So $1 trillion market cap, it might sound absolutely insane. Even $500 billion market cap is semi-reasonable. I think that's what Hex was with the OA address last cycle. But people like to buy the tops and people like to stake tops and people like to sell the bottoms. So what I think is when Hex was at 12 cents, lots of people were, I, I saw lots of moon boys around, lots of people calling for all time highs, lots of people calling for like $5 Hex, $3 Hex, $1 Hex, whatever in the bull market. But now after the prices got demolished, people have this like bear bias where they don't think the price can go as high. Maybe it can't go as high, especially with the whole ecosystem split. But the only thing that matters in terms of the price is the ratio in the market maker pool. So if people are buying more than they're selling, this market cap valuation doesn't really matter because all, all it is is the market maker ratio multiplied by the total amount of supply, total amount of coins in circulation, and that's your market capitalization. It's like Richard Hart says, it is a vanity metric. Not everyone's going to sell all their coins at once, more than likely, and especially in the bull market, not everyone's going to sell all their coins at once. Hopefully, we can see more net buys, uh, more people staking the top maybe that's usually what happens but a lot a lot of these little things can compound greatly into um like huge price increases into the future here and this is barely off of any money like we looked at ethereum this is one percent of the total value locked on ethereum currently and that would just need to get injected for insane price increases so that's sort of a little bit of my presentation here uh if you guys have any questions uh I'm free to answer them as well. I, I was just curious on now that a lot of the liquidity with Hex uh, is tied to PLS. And if you call it uh, Sloth and, and Alex's stream the other day, Alex was talking about where, you know, we kind of went from this, uh, this, this more solid floor, this, 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 this like more solid footing as far as liquidity goes to now we're kind of like, okay, if PLS dumps or hex dumps or, or, or all that stuff goes on, then it, they, they can affect each other, which the volatility to the upside uh, could be a very good thing, but also we've seen more, more often than not the volatility to the downside. So is, so I guess in this case, when I'm looking at these numbers, I'm thinking, well, two things like one, how much did you think about it being tied to PLS and two, that sounds very good to it being, tied to PLS for PLS to go up with it if it does do these kinds of numbers. But yeah, what are, what are your thoughts on that? So this is this is the PLS ratio. So uh, I'm pricing in for PLS and I'm everything is bonded to PLS. So hopefully with Hart's law, everything gets kind of pushed up together. But um, I'm, I'm re really just primarily looking at like US dollar uh, PLS price appreciation. Is that sort of what you mean? Yeah, well, so that that part, uh, I mean, could be if Hex does these kind of numbers, for example, it'd be very good for everything else in the ecosystem, as you mentioned, Hart's Law and a lot of the liquidity bonding as, as well with PLS. Uh, but I guess the other question is like, how is this? How how is it different than, for example, before Pulse Chain launched and Hex was tied to ETH a lot or USDC a lot? Okay, okay. We, yeah, you know, is this better or worse now that now, based on uh, these numbers? So you can kind of look at it a few different ways. So when Hex was bonded primarily to like Ethan, I think it was primarily USDC. Uh, you had, I like Alex and like those guys at uh, Sloth and Axis talked about it, like the concrete floor. So I think you had a lot of the liquidity set, a lot of the liquidity set at like, a, I think it was like sub two cents ish. And it was hard to break down that, that price barrier because you'd have a lot of like, it'd take a lot of economic energy to break it. But now that, like we've like we're saying all the liquidity is bonded to pulse if pulse moves up or down hex is no longer it no longer has that concrete floor of usdc to support it uh therefore it can it's extremely more volatile re in relation to pulse now is this a good or a bad thing i think uh it's a net good thing uh obviously hex is getting destroyed because of it a little bit and a lot of people are selling pulse and not even selling hex and the price is still getting destroyed that's not as good uh, if you're looking to sell your coins at a higher price, but if you're looking to accumulate, if you see the value in these coins, and if you see where this ecosystem is going, I think that it's pretty net positive for the whole ecosystem to be bonded to Pulse, because I think that's what a lot of people are paying attention to. And I think that's going to be one of the uh, one of the main things next bull cycle is going to be getting people onboarded onto Pulse chain to actually use the network and transact on the DEXs, right? So I think it's, a, I think it's extremely net positive to have 
most liquidity bonded to pulse and like we're seeing here whether it goes up or down um it is a volatility's feature it's it's not a bug we're just gonna have to play out the wait out the bear market as it plays out but yeah i, I think uh it would be nice if uh, we had like a solid concrete floor but having this most liquidity tied to pulse isn't too bad either yeah very interesting there any uh pcl any uh questions or, or exciting things or or bearish yeah i, I mean i think i think johnny chaos basically you know his comment uh good on the way up not on the way down uh which is true right and we've seen it over the past couple of weeks where we had some you know some decent sized whales just you know dump a little bit and that already caused like a, a heavy price dump and to be honest, it is super uncertain times for many of us, right? But, you know, if you look at the ecosystem, if you look at the community, we are still here. We're still building. Uh, the number of validators is, keep, is, is increasing. So it's like nothing really has changed on that side. It's just like the perception of, of how people value the technology has changed, right? So, so yeah. And, and uh, yeah, just going back, it's like, yeah. Um, all of those calculations are awesome for 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 the way up and in particular how the lp uh, positions are essentially set on the way down we might have like some price swings or dumps because of it too exactly yeah low liquidity it, it goes both ways so if it's mm -hmm. easy to pump up the price with a hundred thousand it's easy to dump the price with a hundred thousand as well yep. 